So for anyone that didn't see the results of uh, Cadwell Park, this is the state of the pistons that came out of the Lotus engine. You can see here, the piston ring groove is destroyed. A lot of wear on the side of these pistons. And I've also got a crack in a piston ring just here. A lot of wear again around the top surface of the piston. So these are pretty much a write-off. And so, we have a nice new set of wide coat pistons. As you can see here, wrist pins, spring packs, also supplied, as you can see here. So the uh, process at the moment is going to be to take the old pistons off the rods and then I'm going to balance the rods, for which I have various bits of aluminium here and I'm going to form into a conrod balancing device and then reassemble the piston assemblies. And that's going to be the next few hours. Okay. Safety glass is on this time. The task here is to remove these uh, retaining clips on the wrist pins, which, when they spring out, can hit you in the eyes, hence the safety glasses. Now, I wouldn't normally use a screwdriver for tasks like this, but given these pistons are scrap anyway, no real need to save them. So we can just then slide the wrist pin out. Piston, one con rod. Moving on. <coughs> it is worth mentioning these are not standard 2ZZG con rods. These are provided by Monkey Wrench Racing. They're their forged con rods, um, designed to take pretty much whatever power you put through them. Uh, in my case, looking around the 375 horsepower mark, um, and these have got ACL race bearings in them. Came out of the engine, still in good condition, so I'm gonna reuse those, just to make sure they're freshly cleaned up when I put them back in the engine. Um, so the next step is to uh, put away the old parts, put my con rod somewhere safe, and then start building the conrod balancing machine so that I can make sure that these are actually balanced. Both the bottom ends, sorry, the small ends and the big ends of the conrod are balanced. As a lot of you know, the 2ZZG will rev to best part of 9,000 RPM, um, especially with the Supertech valve train that I've now run. So the importance is balance. If we don't want vibration, we need everything in the engine to be balanced as, um, as well as possible. So. Last time I built the engine, I balanced the full assembly, so I made sure that the con rod with the piston with the wrist pin were all the same weight across the four. Um, this time, I'm actually going to try and make each individual component match. So, and not only that, make sure that this end of each con rod weighs the same as on each, and at this end of each con rod weighs the same on each. So, I've looked on YouTube a lot, and I've found out how to do that, and that is essentially to make a set of scales where we'll hold one end on a pivot and we'll weigh the other end and then we'll reverse the operation where we hold this end on a pivot and we weigh this end. So to do that I have these pieces of aluminium that I'm now going to try and measure up and construct a frame to actually do that um, weighing. I'm just going to measure up where these holes should be. That's our first component. So. Let me get the drill set up and then we'll do some drilling. In an ideal world, I'll be in my dad's workshop and I'll be using a proper pillar drill. However, coronavirus means I am at home and using a handheld drill and a vise. So, camera went flat, but here we are. The two pieces forming the bit that's going to go on the scales. So that will sit on there nicely, and we'll take one end of the conrod. In order to actually take one end of the conrod, we need to put a bolt through here, which I've just had delivered from Royal Mail. Anything that I was going to say about them that I shouldn't, I'm not going to say anymore. These bolts. So I'm going to put a hole straight through the middle of here, sit my bolt through, tap it, 
lock it in place, and then when I get my bearings, they'll sit on this side so that the crumb rod can sit on there. So, need to mark this up. Bit of WD 40 to make life easier. Okay. Keep it as straight as possible. Again, all of this will be better done on a proper jig, but all of that stuff is 100 miles away. And so, freestyle this is. Okay, there we have it. My first pass of the scales. Now look. This. Now I need to have this. There's enough room so that this piece is then level with this piece because this is going to be the other carrier that holds the weight, the uh, non weighed end of the. Uh, Come on. A lot of this is being done by eye, as you'll see. We do have a spacer in there, so somewhere around like that distance would make sense. I'll push it right to the end because that gives us the most flexibility in terms of where the scales are positioned. So, so we don't end up in the same mess as last time. I'm going to pilot these with a 5.2 first. And then go in with a six. To start, let's just uh, put a couple of punch marks where I want to drill. So here we go, progress made, it's coming together quite nicely, that is the uh, sort of main frame made, then need to uh, mount my bar here, give me a couple of different positions for this, the rod should always be straight, so when we've got the small end on here and the big end on here it needs to be in different positions, so I either need to make this pivot point in two positions, or this pivot point in two positions, not figured that one out yet, that's uh, a job for later.